Ladies and gentlemen, I know this is two videos in one day, but come on. They just made the announcement that Duos is coming back to Apex Legends. Re ready for this? Permanently. Let's go, baby. Finally. Finally, I don't have to deal with two Timmys on my team. I only have to deal with the one Timmy, okay? We can handle that, okay? Everybody's complaining about their random teammates all the time, me included. But now, we only get Bobby Jackson Jr. 15, and we don't get Timmy Gibbler 42, okay? We only have one of the two. Let's go. And also, to add on to this fantastic news, oh my god, oh my god, Kings Canyon permanently we can choose between that and World's Edge. Oh, hallelujah, baby. This is one of the best announcements that Apex Legends has ever made. Drop a like if you agree, and drop a comment down below. World's Edge or King's Canyon? What do you guys prefer? And your thoughts about duos, and hopefully in the future, they will be bringing solos back. I can only cross my fingers. I am a big advocate for solos. Even though a lot of people didn't like it, and they're like, oh, it's a team-based game, whatever. I realize that, but solos is still fun, man. Sometimes you want to play solo, and a lot of people are going to agree on me with me on that. And a lot of people are I, are going to disagree with me, but I like solos. I think solos is a really good game mode. I think it's necessary in every battle royale to have solos, duos, and trios. We're going to have to see how, how the player base reacts, what they're picking more of, whether it's solos, duos, and trios in the future. But right now, we are getting duos back in the game permanently with Kings Canyon as a permanent choice in the map selection. Oh, thank God they're finally listening to the community. It's, it's, making, me, it's making me shake, baby. April 7th, be there or be a, be a circle because you're going to be want you're going to want to play these game modes man i'm so excited i can't even talk dude but anyways in this video we're going to go over the rest of the bloodhound old ways uh what they have on the ea website and if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're looking for tips and gameplays i am your man also, in the description, I do have a link to my Twitch channel. I stream almost daily during this little quarantine fest we are having right now. So head over, drop me a follow. I would really appreciate it. And I love interacting with you guys when I am live. Without further ado, let's get into what is new coming to Apex Legends on April 7th. All right, everybody. Now we're going to hop into what is new on April 7th. And this is the first time I'm looking at it. So I will probably put the... Uh, Bloodhound series of the Outlands episode in the background so you guys can see that while I'm talking about it and I'll put some little info bits up on the screen so it says the old ways event will last from April 7th to the 21st so that's gonna be two weeks if my math is correct I mean I didn't go to elementary school I just skipped right into college but yeah that should be correct there and then we got in addition to the duos and Kings Canyon coming on April 7th the new limited time event, the Old Ways Lore event, which will include a new town takeover, Bloodhounds Trials, exclusive event, Prize Track, and Direct Purchase Shop, which has new cosmetics and the return of Legendary Hunt skins. We love to see that Bloodhound getting shown some love. So the new town takeover, Bloodhounds Trials, it says... Dive into Bloodhound's Trials where you and your squad battle against a horde of Prowlers and claim high tier loot as your reward. That's going to be interesting, guys. This is going to be kind of rem reminiscent. Like, if you guys played Fortnite, like, I don't like talking about Fortnite because a lot of people hate Fortnite. But, I mean, it's like kind of like the zombies mode. And I'm guessing there's going to be legends in the game. It says right here, fellow legends who want to scavenge those goods for themselves. Okay, okay. So in moments of the quiet, don't forget to explore the enclosure, especially with a certain hunter at your side, meaning Bloodhound. So I'm guessing there's going to be uh, enemies in the game with the Prowlers. So this is going to be a very interesting mode. And there's going to be a lot of distractions in the game. So you can pick yourself up some easy kills. That's what I am guessing. It could just be... A mode where you face the prowlers but i am not too sure about that let me know in the comments if you are 100 percent positive of that and then we got the old ways exclusive event prize track okay so i'm gonna pop a screenshot up right now looks like we got a nice little gibby skin right here we got a uh, gun charm and a new havoc skin is that a havoc i cannot really see that i don't even know what that is bro uh let's see if it says anything about it no, I don't see anything about it saying that it's a Havoc as the 
as with the system override event, you will be able to earn up to a hundred or thousand points per challenge set, and the challenge set will refresh at a daily rate. Plus, you'll still be able to complete your battle pass challenges at the same time too. So you're gonna have to be playing every day. It seems like that's not a that's not a huge deal because we're all inside. You know what I mean, boys? So direct purchase shop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. We got some spicy skins over here. All right, so it looks like this Bloodhound Young Blood skin will be in the shop uh, every four days or every five days. I think it's every five days. Yeah, every five days, this will appear back in the shop. Then we got a nice Bloodhound Wise Warrior skin, Havoc skin, Watson skin. Okay, okay, charge rifle skin. I don't know. If you use the charge rifle, let me say this right now. I'm going to offend a couple people. If you use the charge rifle, since season three, if you use the charge rifle in a public mat, I... I can't deal with you. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. But we might have to try that skin out, and I might just have to disobey my own rules here. The Prowler Raven's Watch skin. That will be interesting. Crypto. That crypto skin is gas. Okay, look at that crypto skin. Tell me that isn't fire. We have the Mozambique skin, Eva 8 skin, and the Bloodhound Frame Exploration. That's a little overpriced for a frame. Come on. A, a thousand? A thousand. That's ten bucks for a skin. Whatever, whatever. I might get that crypto skin though. Five hundred, so that's five dollars for that crypto skin. Ooh, that, that's looking kind of crispy. Not gonna lie. Oh, what is this? Oh, baby. Oh, oh my gosh. The legendary hunt skins for every character. I thought this was. Oh, baby. I thought this was only for for Bloodhound. We got the Wraith skin, voices from the past. R three hundred one, a little new skin. Okay. Octane Hot Pursuit, Bangalore Outland Warriors coming back, Bone Saw Spitfire. I don't know about that one. Caustic Tiger Blood. Oh, baby. Man, I'm getting really excited looking at these guys. I'm getting so excited. We got the Lifeline, uh, Mirage Skin, Flatline Skin. That's looking kind of dirty, not going to lie. Pathfinder Skin, finally. I can finally get a new Pathfinder Skin, guys. You guys know I love Pathfinder. And another, okay, that's the same R301 skin as before. Holy crap, guys. That's insane. I'm I'm so excited for, for this to drop. Oh, my God. April 7th, guys. You have to check this event out. You, it, This is going to bring so many new players into the game and returning players that weren't liking uh, just playing trios and they were missing duos. This is going to bring back so many Kings Canyon public match lovers. Oh, my God. I can't wait, guys. If you cannot wait as well, if you are really excited about this event, make sure to drop a like, like I said, and comment your thoughts on this event. It's been Sweat. I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Much love, y'all. Peace out. Now to 
Valhalla End. <lacht>